everybody, welcome back to Brother in Arms. I'm Austin, and not too long ago, I came across this Technicon Armament uh, chest rig, and at the time that I bought it, the sale that they were doing on their website, it was only 50 bucks, so I was kind of intrigued, so I felt like doing a review on it, and I'm just now getting around to being able to do that. So in this video, we're going to be going over everything about the Tacticon Armament chest rig. So we're going to look at the specs, we're going to look at the price, and we're going to do a little bit of durability testing to see if it's actually worth purchasing. So let's go ahead and slip it on for the video. Okay, y'all, now that we got this on, let's go ahead and talk about the specs of it. So this chest rig in particular is made with a 1000D polyester. However, from the making of this video on with the next batch that they produce will be made with a 500D nylon. So it'll be a different type of material that it's made with. As far as the magazines that they'll fit, they will fit all single and double stack pistol magazines. They'll fit two of them. It's just got elastic that will tighten up if you've got a single stack or it'll expand if you've got a double stack magazine. And then it'll fit three AR-15 5.56 magazines. And then if you take the insert that the 5.56 magazines fit into, if you take that out, it'll fit three 7.62 by 39 mags and two 308 magazines. And as well as that, it also comes with a general purpose pouch on the front of it that's got these little elastic bands if you want to run a couple extra mags in there, if you want to put, you know, maps and things like that, pins, stuff of the sort. And then they've got two of these removable panels that just hook on the Velcro with hook and loop that you can take out. And then if you did only want to run the placard on a plate carrier and you didn't want to use it with the harness, then there's a Velcro panel on the back that you can take off. And if your plate carrier has Velcro on the front of it, you can stick it on, clip it in, and it'll be good to go. Or if your plate carrier doesn't have Velcro, when you order your chest rig, it'll come with these Velcro straps that molly in that slip into the molly in the front of your plate carrier to make it Velcro. That way you can still use it the same way by taking off that back panel, sticking it on the plate carrier, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so now that we got those specs out of the way, let's talk about the first impressions. So far, I'm liking it with a few exceptions, and I'll get into those in just a second. It seems like the, you know, mag retention is pretty good. You know, I can jump around, do whatever I need to do, and they won't come out even if I'm not running these straps on top of it, which even with my duty gear, I'm not a big fan of the straps that go over the magazines. Just kind of gives me a little bit more to fight with while I'm trying to get my mags. And then with the AR-15 mag retention, it seems to be pretty well. It's got a little Codex insert on the inside of it that keeps it in place, kind of like the STAC Kiwi pouches. I'm really impressed with that for the price. Okay, I know I said a few things just a while ago. However, I think it's only one thing that I really don't like about it right now. And if I turn around, you can see how it crosses like an X back there around the shoulder blades. And with it doing that, it tends to kind of rub right here at the neck, which I would have liked it to have kind of one of those H harnesses like the higher end chest rigs tend to have. However, um, when we get to the range, we'll kind of figure out how much that actually affects it. At the time that I bought this, Tacticon Armament was running a sale, so I got it for about $50. However, on Amazon right now, it is $59.95. And then if you go on Tacticon's website, at the making of this video, they are still running their Amazon Prime Day deal where it's 50% off. So it's regular price $99.95. However, you can get it for $49.95. Do the math on that, $99.95 divided by two, you'll get your answer. But I'm pretty impressed with it so far, barring the fact that I haven't went and tested it out at the range, which we'll be doing tomorrow, which for you will be about five seconds. So let's get out to the range and test it. Okay, we're out at the range today, y'all. Just before I start, these two drills that I want to do, I will go ahead and say that these straps are probably going to be a big downside to these. Um, however, I mean, I guess with the modularity of this and being able to unclip it, you can always order the H harness straps from Crydex or one of the higher end gear companies. However, there's two drills that I want to run with this, and one of them is going to be a one reload one. I know a lot of people don't like that. However, I want to test the mag capabilities of these and being able to, being able to get them out smooth. So that's going to be one of the ones that we're going to do. And then the second one, I want to do some low crawls through the grass to hopefully try to like drag this thing as much as I can and see how durable it is and see if it would hold up in practical stuff. I'm not running it over with a truck or anything like that. I find that to be pretty dumb. But the first one we're going to do is a one reload one. 
and I don't have a shot timer, so we'll just go off a of beep. Beep. I mean, it seems to be pretty good. So, I mean, as far as the mag retention on it and everything, we'll test it out. But as far as getting them out, it seems to be pretty good. So, uh, this next one, I'm going to run some reloads with uh, the rifle. So, I'm going to go grab that real quick. We got the rifle all set up and everything. And uh, we're going to do a one reload one real quick. I'll probably run through a few iterations of it. We're going to go ahead and run it. Besides the straps and everything, which I'll probably end up just ordering a new set and replacing with that uh, the H strap that goes like across your back instead of crossing at the back, making an X. It's the only thing I'm really concerned with at this point. The mag retention seems to be pretty good. I mean, I don't even have to put the straps over it. And so, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. The next thing I'm going to do is do the low crawls and see how it holds up to, you know, kind of banging around on the ground and getting drugged. Okay, I wish that y'all could hear that while I was uh, doing that because I was dragging this thing through the grass. But yeah, I had this thing all the way on the ground, digging, basically the magazine's digging into the grass. But I, now that that's done, it seems pretty durable. I mean, my main problem or my main concern was these buckles coming unclipped by themselves. But I mean, that hadn't happened. So I mean, and that was, that was probably a total of 50 yards low crawling. Yeah, honestly. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I keep saying, minus the straps, I wish that they would. Tacticon, if you're watching this, please fix these straps. You can, but I mean, other than that, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I'll probably order new straps for it. And the placard itself, I'm really impressed with. It's pretty durable. I mean, from the little bit that I did put it through, which honestly, for any normal person out there, it's pretty practical. If you're an operator or something like that, eh, probably not going to do you much good. Maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe somebody else will test it a little bit further. But as I use it more and more, I'll uh, keep y'all updated. If it starts to kind of wear out a little bit, I'll let y'all know. But for right now, I'm pretty impressed with it. Okay, y'all. Final thoughts on the Tactical Armament chest rig. And overall, um, I'm pretty happy with it for the price and everything. Granted, we didn't do a whole lot of durability testing. But as far as running through like the one reload ones and stuff like that which i ran a good bit more after i'd stopped filming even and i mean i was pretty happy with the uh with the outcome of it being 50 bucks there's not really much to complain about all for except the straps i wish that i could call this one of the best budget chest rigs however with those straps honestly for 20 bucks more you can buy the crowd x chest rig which has the strap that i was talking about earlier in the video and it also comes with a lot more. Um, and it was it's seventy nine ninety five is at the making of this video. And I'll uh, I'll link it down in the description below. Now, if I change the straps, perfectly fine. However, if I'm not comfortable in something, I'm not gonna want to train in something. And that goes for anything. If it's concealed carry, if I don't have a comfortable holster, I'm not gonna want to carry that gun in that holster. So I mean, Tacticon, if you're watching this.
please change those straps. I feel like it would be a whole lot better and a whole lot more comfortable and make me actually want to train in this because I absolutely love the placard. I love the setup. I love the general purpose pouch in it. I love the inserts being able to be taken out to fit bigger caliber magazines and everything in it, such as the 308. Like I said, other than the straps, I think that's the only thing keeping it from being maybe the budget best budget chest rig. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Hi right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed getting out of here and actually using this for a change. And uh, if it kind of wears out a little bit, I'll let y'all know. But so far, I mean, it's holding up pretty good. So I'm going to keep using it until it falls apart. But if y'all enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe down below. And uh, like a video, drop a comment if you want to. And we'll see y'all in the next one.